Hello everyone, welcome back to Alpha Protocol. This is Bob and Threadbear, and well, I'm sick of Moscow. Let's go to Rome. First, we're going to have to set up the safe house again. Getting situated? Nice place. I kind of hope this operation lasts a while. I could get used to this. All right, what do we got? From the information Shahid gave us, it's not clear what the link is between Halbeck and Al Samad in Rome, but it does list the local Al Samad cell leader, a Jabril Al Bara. But you know, you have this really cute way of broadcasting trouble with your tone. It's part of my charm. What's the problem? There's a CIA listening post here in Rome. And it's pretty well staffed. They're definitely running a search on you. Huh. And Al Samad, it looks like. What's their chance of tracking us down? I don't know. You could try to stay below the radar. But that doesn't really seem to be your strong suit. I could try to talk to them. Explain what happened in Saudi Arabia. I don't think that'll work, Mike. They have orders to detain you. And if you resist, you are on their most wanted list. So we'll have to be extra covert when carrying out this covert op which will make finding the Al Samad cell even harder. There may be another way to get information we need on Al Samad and Halbeck. It looks like there's an NSA echelon listening post in Rome. You might be able to access that and use their database to do our hunting for us. It looks like it's in a gelato shop. You've got to be kidding me. Stranger things have happened. So those are my options? Disarm the listening post, tap into the NSA computer, or make a straight run for Albara? What about Halbeck? What's their tie here? There's nothing about it in Shahid's records. So I did a check of Halbeck employees and ex-employees in Rome. One recent arrival came to the top that I think is worth looking into. Conrad Marburg. What do you have on him? Not much. He seems to avoid the spotlight. He's not showing up on many sites or search results. All right, so what's Marburg's tie to Halbeck? He doesn't have one, at least as of a year ago. He was actually chief of security, but then apparently transferred to working as a contractor for the Veteran Combat Initiative. That's the same organization that Z works for. Oh, Joy. She may know something that could help us. Unless you need advice on implants, I wouldn't bother. Hmm. All right. You got a picture of Marburg? Sending it to your screen now. His dossier doesn't have much on him, and some of the early details seem sketchy to me. Mike? What's wrong? Something tells me Marburg's our real problem. But let's figure out the Al Samad connection first. They're a little more knee-jerk than Halbeck. Do you think Shahid will help? I'm certain, especially if Halbeck's involved. I'll contact him, see what I can find out about Elbara. Is there something wrong with your right shoulder there, Mike? Alright, so it occurred to me that I didn't really do a proper walkthrough of the Moscow safe house. So I've decided to rectify that, at least as far as Rome and Taipei are concerned. They really did put a lot of effort into all of the modeling and the landscapes outside. Nice giant TV in the bedroom. And upstairs here we have the communication center. And outside, why well, we've even got the hot tub. Now if you'll excuse me a moment, the dog needs to go outside. And I'm back. Sorry about that, but luckily you didn't have to wait. Anyway, looks like there's no intel to be found for the NSA mission, so I'll just go and do that. Much like contacting Grigori, this shouldn't take much time at all, so... I'll be going after the CIA listening post next. Gelateria? I 
think I just got salmonella by looking at this place. Gotta keep the public from dropping in for a cone. Good point. I'd say their cover is working beautifully. Okay. You'll need to come up with a good reason to be here. Hmm. Looks like they're scheduled for server maintenance and security upgrades this month. That might get you in. We're all professional agents. I'm sure we can come to an agreement. I hope so. Remember, if the post is compromised, they'll shut it down, and we'll lose our access. You'll also need to give the correct handshake code to identify yourself as an agent. Secret handshakes? What are we, the Shriners? It's a specific passphrase that rotates on a monthly basis. You give the correct phrase, they give the correct response, and you both know everything's on the level. So what's the code? Tell them that the Adirondacks are beautiful this time of year. They should respond with, yes, but the Alps are lovely all year long. Got it. Let's see if anybody's home. Why hasn't this place been condemned? Must be paying off the inspectors. I already let you out. Stop whining. Can I help you? I'm here to fix the computers. We don't have a problem with the computer. I hear the Adirondacks are beautiful this time of year. I don't like the mountains. And you're here to fix the computers? He didn't give the response for his something's wrong. Uh, yeah. Say, about those Adirondacks. I told you I don't like mountains. Come on. I'll show you the computers. That's not the response phrase. Stay on guard, Mike. If my code is out of date, they might suspect you're not on the level. So, my friend, what do you need? Nothing serious. Just here to upgrade your security systems. Oh. Okay, you got it. So, no more computer troubles, eh? You should be all set. Fort Meade can rest easy now. Hey, my friend! Gone to go? No thanks. The NSA should really up their hiring practices, I think. I mean, that guy was severely unprofessional. Mike, I've just detected a source within the VCI branch office doing a search for your profile. Although they've got the height wrong. Why are they doing a search now? They already found me. It looks like the analyst isn't doing it on company time. I have the workstation called up. It's using the workstation Parker used while he was undercover as a Halbeck contractor. What? The ID on the badge used to access the office is a Madison St. James. What's her role at the company? A full background check may take some time, but from skimming her dossier, she looks like a new employee. Got a picture? Calling it up now. Hmm. She's pretty. Recognize her? No, I think I'd remember. But if she's tied to Marburg, I think we've got a way to get to him after all. Interesting. But unfortunately not something we can follow up on immediately. Instead, we're going to have to go straight after the CIA. Well, second after the CIA, after the NSA. Which reminds me. The CIA, unlike the NSA, actually do have a few intel items available for purchase. And also got a few new emails. Huh. Something from the NSA, in fact. Looks like it's going to give us some dossier info on Conrad Marburg. Handy. Ah, and here's our reply from Scarlet Lake. Like I said, she provides less money than the other two alternatives. But in exchange you get that uh, bonus to her... Oh, lovely. Bonus to relationship. Oh, and here's something new. Kind of. Intel emails. Someone kindly reminded me in the thread, only a couple days ago, when I'm recording this, 
that for each Intel piece you buy, you get an email, some more interesting than others. And I have been neglecting to remember that fact. But no longer, Intel will now be included in the thread along with everything else. Right then. Much like Lazo's yacht, the CIA listening post will not take long at all. I'm in. Seems pretty quiet. It is a listening post. The CIA's upstairs, and they probably have a guard in the lobby, so keep an eye out. Will do. Going to take a quick look around. In fact, I believe I won't use a single firearm or grenade in this entire mission. Cable's cut. Huh? What do you mean, static? All right, check downstairs. Probably blew another fuse. <laughs> what am I, the fucking electrician? Need a flashlight. Nice to see the CIA supports the use of formal wear as an outfit for its employees, even in foreign lands when really nobody should know they're here at all. And either this apartment's been recently abandoned or they've done a bang up job of keeping up the wallpaper and appearances here. I suppose if you've got some standards to live up to and you have to live in a place for like 24 7. Mike, it looks like the third floor camera is being run by a dummy console on the second floor. If you can find it, you can loop the feed and sneak past. No one wants to live in a rat hole, after all. Looks like both computers in this room are tagged. So let's set about hacking them. Accessing the database and downloading the software. All right. Receiving. We're good. Listening in on the listening post. Gotta love this job. And you see the camera is inert. <coughs> Despite not having technically disabled it, it still counts as far as the game is concerned. information on Mina Tang. Wonder what that's going to be about. What's this? An email system? I believe this may be the first time we have access to an email system that wasn't Mike's. Since the first video. Hopefully that was up for long enough for you guys to read it this time. Or to pause the video and read it, at least. Control room's locked from the inside. No other entrances I can see. Looks like the only way to get it to open is to get them to open it. I'll think of something. But before that, there's one more room we need to explore. Unicorns. Hmm. You don't usually connect the CIA and unicorns in your mind. Well, not in, unless you're a certain special kind of individual, but uh, let's not go there. Uh, 
uh, the silencer Mark III. That's why I didn't buy bother buying one. Because I knew there was a place where you could acquire one for free. Oh wow, here's a hard computer. And all that for some extra info on Jibril Albaro. Well, we will be going after him in the next mission. Looks like an air conditioning duct. Too small to fit through, but... This ought to do the trick. What are you doing? Mike, don't kill them. There's got to be another way. Just giving them a scare. A little something I learned in third period science. What the hell? Fuck this shit! Top of the morning. You can already see how much better Shadow Operative is now that it's twice as long. I got to uh, punch twice as many operatives in the neck. What? More email? gonna be a whole lot of stuff in the thread post this time. Too bad I can't reply to any of those. That'd be a way to mess everybody up. Now it's time to leave, but there is one issue. Yeah. One more guy spawns in. Makes you glad you've invested in stealth. Not to be caught off guard by that guy. Where did he even come from? Well, no matter. His peripheral vision is as poor as everyone else's. Twenty-eight grand from just a few punches to the neck. Pretty good take. Yep, six enemies subdued by hand-to-hand -hand knockouts. Quick, simple, and easy. Five points remaining. Well, obviously that has to go into s pistols. Uh, okay, yeah, I pressed the wrong button, but uh, I, I put the points in anyway. See you next time.